Uh, well, Tom, obviously you're dropping two points there. It's been a rare event, hasn't it, really, for, for the Spirits? How do how the players feel? Um, I think, obviously, it's always disappointing when I mean, we don't win games. Um, obviously, we've, um, we're, we're so used to winning so many games on the bounce. and um, it, I think when you go off the pitch, um, because you've not won a game, it feels like a defeat. But we've got the draw. Um, like I said, if we don't win, we don't lose, uh, which is which is massive in this league. The points, like really good, and um, I thought it was play, fair play to them. They they played well, came with a game plan, and um, scored two goals. But um, like I said, we didn't lose. Yeah, they, they showed what they did back earlier in the season, didn't they? When they when they when they played, and yeah, they were. I, I suppose at the time was the tempo a little bit a little bit flat today. Do you think? Um, maybe sometimes in the in in in, um, in the game. Um, I thought we played well. Uh, in the first half, we passed it well. We have uh, did one twos around people. We got it wide. Um, great reaction from going behind so early in the game. Um, scored two good goals, and um, yeah, I thought in the second half, being two one up, I thought we'd go again. And uh, but it's one of the games. Um, we um, we got a point, and um, we didn't lose. I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously, you must be annoyed about conceding so early in the second half as well as the first. Yeah, it's always frustrating when you're going to one up after going goal behind and we, we, we said let's start well uh, in the second half. We didn't start well. Where um, it was, um, to be fair, it was a great finish yeah. from, from the lad and um, then we just got to regroup and go again and I thought we had chances to, to go and win the game uh, but it just wasn't there today and um, we go again on Saturday. I mean, that, that said, it was quite end to end at times. They had good opportunities. Harry's, Harry's pulled off some yeah. crap and saved, hasn't he? And yeah. Lee Manville hit the crossbar in the 92nd minute, so it could have gone either way, couldn't it, really? Yeah, of course it could. Obviously, like I said, fair play to Elfleet. They was counter attacking. They had a chance when, um, when Grimes had cleared off the line. Uh, H's made a good save, and uh, we went to the end, and Mandy's hit the bar. Uh, we've got in some good areas. Um, to get that final touch on the goal, um, but it wasn't a day to, to, to win the game today, and uh, which is frustrating because we want to win every game. We want to we want to go on that uh, run, keep keep breaking records, and um, and extend the league further. Well, I mean, obviously, it still extended it today to 23 points, which is still quite remarkable at this at this stage, isn't it? Really? Yeah, we, we've um, we said in there at, at, at full time, and we want to. In February, being 23 points clear in February is is unthinkable. Um, obviously, when I first signed it, I knew we had a group of players where we are going to do things special in this club. And uh, but being 23 points clear at, at this stage is it's massive for the for the club, the fans. And uh, but we need to every game every, every game's massive. We still need to keep pushing. We still need to, uh, to win games, and um, we want to get it over the line sooner rather than later. Yeah, you've got Bromley coming up there. I suppose the dressing room, despite the fact you've improved your position, what, what's the dressing room like after a, you know a, you know a draw like that? At home? I think, like I said, I think you go in there thinking, obviously, did we win the game? Did we lose the game? Um, but we, we said, no, just get, just get your heads up. Um, we drew the game. Um, that's football. We can't win every game. If you win every game, we won't be in this league, and we won't be in League Two. You will. So. Um, it's like I said, fair play to Airfleet. Uh, I thought they were really good today. Um, they were good at their at, at their place, mm -hmm. and um, sometimes we do get games like this at home. Uh, but like I said, next week is a big one, and um, get three points next week, and we we'll see where we're at. Yeah, to touch on that really against Bromley. Obviously, the side that in second place is there is such a big gap. You beat them earlier on in the season two 0 but you, next week you're playing on a on a, on a 4G surface or 5G, whatever, whatever they call it, yeah. I don't really know, but I mean it's um, obviously a test for them because Chesswood haven't really done well at Bromley over the course of the couple, last few years. Yeah, it's just, um, obviously we're first, they're second, it would be, be a great match. Um, obviously with the, um, with the pitch, it's, it's not, not ideal, uh, but we go there, we've got to do what we've got to do. We go there uh, to win, try and get three points, to win the match, and then um, like I said, extend that lead as much as we can and keep winning. 
and try and get over that line whenever it comes. And how are you feeling? You seem to have a little bit of a knock in the second half, but you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's just obviously um, <laughs> doing the work in that midfield. Sometimes it's, 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 a, it's a lot, and um, that's why I play midfield because I like to get around the pitch and, and I like to make recovery runs, and um, it's nothing at all. I didn't, I didn't really feel anything. It was just a bit. Bit tightness and a um, bit, le um, bit leggy coming on the bottom of the pitch and um, it gets a bit heavy at times. And um, but yeah, uh, I feel fine. Ten goals this season. I bet you'd like to get another one. I'm scored for a while actually. That'd be, be nice to get one next week. Yeah, I'm, I'm always trying to score goals. If we don't score goals, we'll try and keep clean sheets. If we don't get clean sheets, we'll try and build on whatever comes the following game. And um, like I said, ten goals uh, and, a, and a few assists. Is, it's a great season so far for me. Um, it's always nice to chip in the, to the odd goal, um, but my, my job in to score uh, is to do what the nitty gritty stuff, and um, that's why that's why Grig is up there with the top one of the top goal scorers. Um, and we've got a few other lads as well who's, who's, who's chipping with the goals as well. Thanks, Tom. Cheers, mate.